famous 1929 annual stock forecast of WD GAN. What will you pay to know how to do it? Is it possible to learn it for free? Hello, guten tag, buongiorno, namaste, and salam alaikum. Good day to you, trader. This is Mario Forex Otherway, the channel for traders run by a trader. In this video, I will show you how to predict future highs and lows, as you might have seen on famous WD Gun prediction for 1929 in one of his letters and I will do it absolutely for free to help you to improve your trading techniques as well as I hope that you that it will convince you for further studying of WD GAN trading methods so let's start the rock and roll The Tunnel Through the Air, the famous Gantz book, page 75, the bottom. My calculations are based on the cycle theory and on mathematical sequences. History repeats itself. That is what I have always contended, that in order to know and predict the future of anything, you only have to look up what has happened in the past and get a correct base or starting point. My authority for stating that the future is but a repetition of the past is found in the Bible. Gan was a very faithful Christian, so you know, he was studying Bible whatsoever. So obviously it's clear, in order to know the future, what do we need to do? We need to use maths based on previous highs and lows. So let's do it. Let's go there. So I've chosen some dates over here. So for our reference, I presume that the starting point will take 9th of March 2020. I'm on EURUSD daily chart, by the way. So the top of the market, well, some important top was 9th of March, so we might take it as a reference point for our projections. What I did as well, I made some dates, I marked them with these vertical lines, which is 20th February, important reversal point. Local reversal point, 31st of January. 31st of December as well, 27th of November, 1st of November, 30th of September, 23rd of August, that high, not that high, 23rd of August, and the bottom, 1st of August, I would do it probably, would be better if it's been done over here as the lowest point of the market, as the closing price. But okay, we can leave it like that, or or whatever we mark this point. Okay, leave it 1st of August, the last point. What we have to do, the only thing we have to do, as Gan said over here, mathematical sequences. Market makes cycles. So this is our starting point. Let me zoom in this one. So what I would do, uh, first of all, I got marked this uh, all these dates, important dates on the market in the past, because it's the future is the repetition of it. And I mark it was low, high, high, low, whatever. So well, first thing, what I would do over here, I would write is equal to, I want to project it referring to the 9th of March. So I mark 9th of March, I press F4, to block this or write the dollar signs in front of the letter number of this cell and add to it and add, add to it. Oh, sorry. I have to subtract from this date. I have to subtract this date in order to calculate how many days is between 9th of March and 20th of February. This is for you who don't know the Excel. If you know the Excel, you can do it. So it's 18 days. Then if I drag this line over here to the bottom, it will show me the distance between this date and our reference point. So I will write over here that it is our reference, reference points, 
point. That's the one. So we are starting from here. Let's do it even bigger. So this is our starting point. And this is the number of days. Now, the only thing, I presume that the markets are harmonic and the future is nothing but the repetition of the past. So I say if here was low on 20th of February 2020, it was 18 days from this date. So I consider that 18 days later, it will be high over here. It's so simple. So look, we write over here, we calculate this equal to the reference point or the starting point plus this number of days. And we've got the day 27th of March. And we project them all into the future. Obviously, in this way, we'll check it right now. And the only thing I want to mention, if you want to learn other trading techniques based on WDGAN, such as projecting time into price, range into price, or projecting price into time, just check the reference below. Write me an email. You'll find uh, my email address down below under this video. Ask about my online private tutorials, and I will learn many other techniques. Okay, so let's go back to this one and let's check it. So we got, we've got already marked 27th of March, is it? And 29th of March. How is that? It couldn't be like that. Oh, we got it. Sure, here we should press again F4 to do it. And now we have to project it this way my friend. So we got the first 27 March, 16 of April. Let's go. 27th of March. I know where is it because I did it before. 27th of March is here. So we've got here high. Let's mark it as a high. That's our high. On 16 of 4. So this was low and we've got the high. He was high, so it should be low. Let's mark it low straight away and let's check it. Is it low or not? Okay, so on 16th of April, is it low? 16th of April, it is somewhere with this, this one, I think. Yes, 16th of April. It is local low. The market came back one day, uh, one day correction and then continued. Uh, look, when you look at this chart, we got the starting point here in this area. So this low corresponds to this high and this high, which was a local correction, corresponds to this low, which was also a local correction after that. So that's how it works. So I consider it a local low. Let's go further. Next one, we got 31st of December was high. So on 17th of May, it should be low again. Let's mark it low before we check it, because we know the future is the repetition of the past. So this, this cycle starting here ends up over here, we consider. So this is the low, all right? We don't know yet. Let's check it. But it is, because 16 was, I think, Saturday, and 15 was Friday. But for the security, for safety reasons, let's mark both of this line. And this is the place where the market started rising. So it was a low. Next one, 27.11 was low. So on 20th of June 2020 should be high. Let's check it first. 20th of June, where is 20th of June? Uh, it is 19th, 19th, 22nd. So we got 19th, 22nd. So 20th was uh, on Saturday and 19th was a low. Let's write it. So we got conversion over, conversion over here. But anyway, the turning point was marked on the spot, as you see. 20th was Saturday. Let's get rid of this one to make it uh, more visible. So 20th of Saturday and 19th, a day before, that was a low of the market based on 
based on the low of 27th of November. So if it's low here and the low here, another 103 days from 20th of June 2020, I presume it should be high, but it's another story. We can calculate it as well. If we do that, it is equal to equal to this date plus this number. Let's see what's happened. 1st of October 2020. We'll check it later on. So we've been on 20th of June. So the high from 1st of November should give us a low on 16th of July. Let's check it. 16th of July. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. 16th of July. Is it 16th? That's the low, the local low, the market made correction, one day correction. So let's mark it as low and let's go further. We got three more to go and that's it. All right. So the low from 30th of September shown us that from the reference point, 161 days is 17th of August. My friend, 17th of August on EURUSD daily. It is somewhere here. That's the one. It's a miss of one day. It happens sometimes, but it is as high. It is a high. Even if you got this next candle going higher and will stop you out, it is the high. And it should be, you should consider it as important support resistance area, which you see how many rejections were here and how the market went through and came back immediately. And here's same story. And look at this one. So this is at an extra tip for you, obviously for free. And let's see the next one, 23rd of August, 2019. And 199 days from the reference point is 24th of September. Let's go to our EURUSD. 24th of September. Where is it? 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Again, we got the same situation like here. You see, again, stop losses were hit. And that's the story. So you may consider again that this area, it's pretty important, 1660, roughly. So here it might be an important uh, support area for the market if the market goes lower at the moment and it seems it will go lower because we got the situation i told you that uh, in my previous video that this important dynamic and static support lines were broken and the market i thought it was on thursday 15th of uh, october 2020 and on friday the market tried to come back over this line, the bulls try to push the price higher, but the bears at the moment are in control of the market and the price closed right on this support resistance line, which has been broken. The support line now has become resistance and the closing price is below this one. So it looks like the market will head south and might stop somewhere. At 1660, it says so is this area somewhere here. So is the lowest the market can go. And then we'll see. So let's go back to our chart. Where are we? Okay, we are over here. 24th of September. We mark this one. And we got the last one. 16th of October. What date was 16? 16 was yesterday. It was uh, Friday. Today is Saturday, 17th of October. So let's check it. Let's have a butchers. What's happening here? It seems as if the market tried to make a reversal over here and we will see what's going to happen. So as I told you at the very beginning, in this way, you can go to four hour chart and check uh, important highs and lows of the market and make it more detailed this part and it will, oh, I've forgotten to mark it. So we had a high over here. 
this was a high, so it should be a low, and on 23rd of September was low, I consider this one, let's get rid of this line, and so this was the low, and here it should be a high on 16th, which might confirm that this point was only correction in the way south. So the market made a correction and it might go lower, but it's not trading advice, it's just a general, general meaning of this way of predicting this forecast. So again, I recommend you to study WD Gans method, use this method on a lower time lag, like four hour charts, important take important highs and lows find a good reference point and project them into the future in this way you will find more detailed forecast which will might look like this one which wd gun made in 1928 i remind you so this is 11th uh, 23rd of, of november 1928 so it has been done in advance based on GAN's calculations from the past, from the previous year or previous years, whatever. So I encourage you to study it. I encourage you to, to check my training uh, on private online sessions over the Skype. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.